Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Alright guys, today we're going to be reviewing Michter's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Originally known as Shanks and later as Boomberg, the whiskey company known as Michter's was founded by a Swiss Mennonite farmer in Pennsylvania in 1753. Closing in 1919 due to Prohibition, closing and reopening several times after Prohibition, the Michter's name was created in the 1950s when the owner combined portions of his two children's names, Michael and Peter, to come up with the brand name Michter's. In 1989, the owner closed the doors due to financial problems and just a few years later in the 90s, Joseph Balico and Richard Newman teamed up to resurrect Michter's to make it the brand it is known as today. Michter's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey is a non age stated whiskey that is thought to be around 8 years old. It has an undisclosed mash bill with an ABV of 45.7%, 91.4 proof of the MSRP of around 35 to 40 bucks. This is produced in limited quantities, so availability could be good or bad depending on where you live at. Let's check out the bottle for a second, guys. The bottle, pretty sleek, pretty simple. Since Michter's right here, it does have the pot still. The cork is wood on top, and it is a synthetic cork. It has a synthetic cork, and it's got a ribbon kind of closing the cork, wrapping around the, around the stem of the neck. Pretty nice, sleek, simple bottling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, let's check out the color. The color on this whiskey is a nice copper, deep amber color. It does seem to be sticking to the glass fairly well. Nice viscosity on the whiskey. It does seem to be very, fairly viscous. Nice copper, amber color to the whiskey. Let's get in the nose. All right, guys, on the nose. The nose is very approachable. Nice caramel vanilla. A little brown sugar. A little bit of like a toasted almond note to the whiskey also. A little oak and a little bit of a barrel char. Not much of a fruity presence on the nose at all. Maybe a little bit of baking spices or clove. Mostly caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. A nice oak note. And it's not, it's not jumping out of the glass at all. It's very approachable. A nice almond, like a toasted almond note. Oak and a little barrel char. Once again, on the nose, you're getting nice caramel, vanilla, a little bit of a toasted almond note, brown sugar, maybe a little clove, baking spices, and a nice oak note with a little barrel char on the nose. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Front of the palate, caramel vanilla. A nice, neither one's kind of overpowering the other. It's just kind of nice, balanced caramel vanilla. It is kind of creamy. Got a little bit of a nice mouthfeel to it. It's not super creamy, but it's definitely not dry. It does have a nice mouthfeel. Mid palate, a little brown sugar, and a little bit of an oak note on the finish on the first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. The second sip, caramel vanilla once again on the front of the palate. It does have a nice mouthfeel, nice creamy texture to the mouthfeel. Mid palate, you got brown sugar and that almond note that I got on the nose. It's starting to show up around mid palate. There's a little bit of barrel char lingering on the finish with a nice oak note that is also present on the finish of the second sip. And the vanilla seems to kind of drag through mid palate and maybe a little onto the finish also. 
Nice second sip. Let's go in for a third, guys. Cheers. Third sip, once again, very consistent whiskey, not changing too much. Caramel vanilla on the front of the palate. A little brown sugar mid-palate with that nice toasted almond note. A little barrel char on the finish with a nice oak note. And the vanilla is kind of getting drugged through the mid-palate and a little bit onto the finish. And also on the finish, on the third sip, I got a little bit of like a clove baking spice note on the third sip. Very nice third sip, guys. My final thoughts on the Michter's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Guys, I think it's a decent pour. 35 to 40 bucks. It offers good traditional bourbon flavors, very approachable, and has a nice mouthfeel. I don't think anyone will be disappointed in purchasing this from a $35 to $40 price range. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I greatly appreciate your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers. <laughs>